Hey guys, it's Heather the Crochet Witch back again with one more yarn haul. Um, this is my one order from Hobium Yarns, which everybody knows by now. Um, on I think it was the 13th of November 2019, they went out of business. Out of business, they closed down at least their um, overseas shipping facility. And a lot of people seem to think that they're probably coming back eventually, or plan to, or would like to, so perhaps they will. Um, but I really had wanted to try a couple of their yarns, even though I'm, I'm kind of a nice yarn girl, not gonna lie. Not that the two have to be, like, in competition with each other. I mean, both places can have great yarn, right? <laughs> but I'm, I guess I should say, like, I gravitated more towards it, um, towards ice yarns, so. Sorry about that. Uh, one of my roommates came out and I don't want him to be like weirded out <laughs> while I'm kind of talking to myself to you guys. Um, so I paused it for a second there. Um, anyway, as I was saying, I kind of have always gravitated towards ice yarns and never placed a hobium order. So I decided to place one before I couldn't place one. <laughs> um, also, I haven't checked myself, but rumor has it that they are selling some of their yarns on, I think it's Amazon. So if you're like really wanting to try them or have some yarn that you really liked from there, you may want to check Amazon. I think, I'm pretty sure it's Amazon. Um, that being said, what I ended up getting uh, was, how beautiful is that? Two, I got two of these uh, stunning cakes. They are, Etrafil Organic El Orgu. That is a foreign language, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> if you can see that. <laughs> Not even gonna try to butcher that. But um, they're basically like three or four strands of like cotton yarn. Um, are they cotton or are they, let me see if it tells on here. I want to say there was some acrylic in here. Um, yeah, 55% organic cotton and 45% anti-pilling. Um, this just has a color number, which is PZ006, if you should be interested. And they have a little pull tab on it, which is nice. Um, and it does come from the center at the bottom. But I just, like, I couldn't resist that. That's like a sunset. Like a fall sunset. Didn't I call a different yarn a fall sunset in my last video? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and it's got like black and grays out here, and then all the oranges and yellows, and that is beautiful. And I have two of them. So I think I will probably, how much yardage is in this? I'm really bad with figuring out how much yardage I need for what, by the way, but I figured two of these would be quite a bit. This is, um... Am I reading this right? Okay, I think this is a thousand meters, which is a thousand and ninety-three point six yards. Not positive, by the way, it's written or whatever, but so there's like a comma on it. It's like one zero nine three comma six zero yards. Um, not positive, but it also says for anybody that may be interested, that this is organic. <laughs> um, so I got that, and then I got five of these, but this is, um, Yarn Arts Angora Active. I bet you're super surprised to find out that I got the one with browns and oranges and yellows and light yellows. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh, the, let me see if I can find a weight on here too. Uh, I forgot to look for the cake yarn. Um, I mean, it's very thin. So if it doesn't say it on here, it's probably like a one or maybe a two because it's all stranded or all like held together with strands, but it doesn't actually, say, oh yeah, it does. Super fine. It's just in with the washing instructions. Uh, this is a one super fine, so. And then 
This one is also listed as a one super fine. I would probably say this is a two though. I mean, I'm not the best with thin yarns, but I don't know how well you can see that. Let me see if I can get a darker strand for you. Maybe one instead of two would be great, Heather. There we go. I mean, I kind of feel like that's a two. Um, and it's got fuzz on it because um, this was made in Turkey and it is 25% mohair and 75% acrylic. And it is, if I'm reading this right, because the comma, 546.8 yards and it says 500 meters. And then yeah, I couldn't, um, I wanted to make sure I'd be able to do something good with it. So I got a pack of those. So pretty. <laughs> you can definitely feel like the wool in it, but I wouldn't say it's it's uh, harsh or anything. Like I would still wear it. Yeah, I would still wear it wear it like by your neck or anywhere even. It's good, <laughs> but you can feel the fact that there's like wool in it and it's not just acrylic or whatever. So that is that. And then the last thing, like, I got one more type of yarn, but I got a bunch of colors in it. Um, I got this, uh, it's Tango, and it's 100% acrylic. Um, let's see, this says it's a bulky five, and I'd probably agree with that. I'd say it's a bulky five. Um, and I got three of each one of the ones I'm about to show you, and I bet you're gonna be super surprised at the colors that I picked because they're pretty like vintage 70s -y. Yeah, um, I got three of each of those and I'll show you them better than just in a little group. But I got this cream color. And this, by the way, is really soft. Like, it's acrylic, you know, it's not like any wool or anything's in it anyway, but it's, it's really soft for just a regular, it's like a thicker red, no, it's not a thicker red heart. It's like a thicker red heart with love, maybe. But um, I got three of the cream color. I got three of these um, deep orange, rusty, pumpkin-y colors. Three of those. Three of these avocado 70s green looking ones. There we go. This is a little more avocado-y green. The camera's showing it pretty brown. But I did get um, more... I'll show you in a second, but I got brown also, just a bigger pack. Um, here's a, like a blue, almost like a peacock blue. And then here's more of it like a tan, like a camel color. Okay, so each one of those I got three of. And they say 120 meters, 131 yards, 100 grams. And then, me being me, got two of these, which are the same type of yarn, the uh, Tango yarn, but it's a five pack and the label is a different color for some reason. I don't, I don't know why, because it's, it's the same yarn. Um, This one is in, like there's some English on it. It says made in Turkey and underneath it, it says like Heko in Turkey and then some maybe Russian writing. Um, and there's an address, www.orenbayan.com.tr, just right there. I don't know if you'll be able to see that at all. I don't know if that's the original manufacturers of this yarn, or so maybe it's available on their website. Maybe I could take a look, and if it is, I'll add it down below for you guys. Um, it says 100 grams, and then it says 120 MT. But 
I'm pretty sure that this is the same like size and amount as this. So I got two of these five packs of brown. Um, and my thought is, since I didn't know what the yarn would feel like, what it would be like in this net, I got enough of it that I'm going to try to make a blanket out of all of it since it's definitely the same weight and type and feel and stuff. Um, I'm thinking maybe like squares and joining them with this, but I'm not sure yet. I want to do something really cool. But um, I was really hoping to get the uh, the Hobium bag with the order with the little fox and stuff. It's so, it's so cute. But unfortunately I didn't. Um, and that's okay. But um, I forgot to bring them over, but I got just the usual uh, that I've seen everybody else get. I think uh, Hobium stickers. Uh, there's one with yarn on it, and then there's one with a llama on it, and then I got the little pom-pom, cardboard pom-pom circle thing. Um, but no bag. Sad. <laughs> Sad just because I, I can't get it now, so, unless they're selling those on Amazon, I guess, but, oh well. <laughs> um, I think that's, that's everything from Hobium, so this was just kind of like, that's it. Um, no more Hobium, at least for now. So I hope you guys liked my haul and I hope you liked the yarn and um, what, what have you guys gotten from Homium and did you get like a last hurrah haul? I'm just curious. Um, let me know what you got and if you like seeing my hauls, like seeing maybe my podcast and all that have been on this channel, please consider giving me a like. We're almost to 200 so I can do um, my giveaway because I was planning to do one at 200 and yeah i think that's everything i got for you guys right now so i guess i'll catch you later bye